Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener and it's time for another landscape makeover. I call this one, What Happened Here? So this client uh, bought this house and it was in need of a lot of fixing up in the inside. They did a great job on the inside and it's time to deal with the backyard. And the backyard was a spectacular mess that the previous homeowner had really kind of abused. I, it was just really extraordinarily bad. So we decided to kind of demo all this and do just a really simple patio, but something for all the entertaining that they wanted to do. So after I did a design, brought in the guys, guys wheeled in that little baby bobcat, as you've seen in other videos, that can get through a 32-inch gate, uh, which has the big, hot, strong hydraulic hammer that can just blast through eight inches of concrete and they just started going about it and it took oh about a week and a half to demo all that concrete and the pressure treated timbers and just haul it all out to this driveway and just going back and forth and back and forth once it was all cleared out then they changed the tools on the bobcat to start digging trenches because we knew we wanted to add some retaining walls to widen out the patio to make it a little bigger and easier so did some grading some underground trenching and then it was time to lay out the footings for the cmu block retaining walls now, as you've seen in other videos, whenever you're doing a CMU block retaining wall, you have to make sure to have a nice wide footing for the concrete and then have the rebar spaced uh, according to code uh, along that re, uh, footing. And also, whenever you're working with rebar, it's always important to put those little caps in too just for safety purposes. All right, the footing was poured and now it's time to start adding in all the courses. Block after block after block, it's mortared in. We had to actually do two walls on this project to deal with the five foot incline um, from the very top part of the property to the main patio area. Once we got the basic wall done, the bottom wall done, we, we then bring in the concrete pump. Now, the concrete guys, Cabrera, as usual, these guys are really great here in North San Diego County got in the concrete pump and we're doing a colored concrete so this one's called san diego buff kind of a nice tan color when it dries out notice how dark it is now but you're going to see it really lightens up a lot once we get going there at the same time they're doing the concrete patio they're also pouring the second footing for the second retaining wall a little higher up to flatten it out give a nice terrace for the vegetable garden and hummingbird garden that you're going to see in just a minute all right the guys are working all that concrete and it's a large concrete uh, patio. We did a little acid wash on it, so it gives it some nice texture to it as the guys um, work the concrete. Here it is a week later. It's dried out, a little tricky to see, but you'll get a better look in just a second. And now the guys have started doing the retaining wall along the hillside there. The retaining wall got a nice Santa Barbara stucco finish and looks great. And now it's time to add some plants. All right, the plants are in, and now it's time for my favorite part, the before and after. After. So again, this was the before, just a disastrous patio, and now a nice big patio with lots of furniture all over. Also kind of a nice little setup because we made sure to keep that little square, uh, a new new square grass area for their little dog to have a little spot to go out and then finally of course it's always important I always tell folks to add some light so we did some path lights along the wall and some up lights on the trees which will get much bigger obviously but we accented that with some cafe lights some string lights that we strung to the existing patio deck there so here you go a nice landscape makeover now they have a wonderful backyard for entertaining and having big fabulous parties uh, there in San Diego. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Big thank you to Unique Landscaping for their help in this project. They did a great job on this project. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Until next time, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thanks for watching.